I'm here with our, our fellow task force members uh, to announce uh, the identity of uh, what has uh, formerly been known as Fire Island Jane Doe. Um, you know, on April 20th, 1996, uh, female remains consisting of uh, legs and feet were found on the Bayside shore of Fire Island about a mile west of Davis Park Beach. Uh, then, approximately 15 years later, on April 11, 2011, uh, additional remains consisting of a skull were discovered at Tobey Beach in Nassau County. Uh, those remain, that skull was found uh, following the discovery of the remains of Jessica Taylor, and the skull was found on the same day as uh, the remains of what is uh, commonly come to be referred to as peaches was found on Jones Beach. Uh, in uh, thereafter, in July of 2011, the Suffolk County Crime Lab linked this, uh, the two sets of remains uh, via DNA analysis. And by that, I mean uh, the uh, legs that were found uh, in the vicinity of Davis Park were compared with the remains found at Tobey Beach, and it was determined that uh, it was the same person. Since 2011, uh, that victim was known by various names, including Fire Island. Uh, Jane Doe. Uh, today, uh, we are here to announce that as part of the Gilgo Task Force re-examination of all the evidence in the case, we are able to identify Fire Island Jane Doe as Karen Vergata, who was 34 years old at the time of her disappearance. And I believe we have a, a, a picture of, of Miss Vergata. I think it's important uh, that we remember and honor not only Miss Vergata, but all the victims uh, on Gilgo Beach. Uh, Ms. Vergata went missing at approximately um, February 14th, uh, 1996. At the time, she lived on West 45th Street in Manhattan and was believed to be working as an escort at the time of her disappearance. Uh, there was no missing persons complaint filed at the time of that disappearance. Uh, in August of 2022, approximately six months after we formed this Gilgo Task Force, a DNA profile suitable for genealogical comparison was developed from the remains of Karen Vergata. In September of 2022, the FBI was able to was able uh, via a genetic genealogy review to identify Ms. Vergata presumptively as Fire Island Jane Doe. Thereafter, in October of 2022, uh, using a buccal swab from a uh, a relative of uh, Karen Vergata, we were able to. Uh, definitively identify her. Uh, prior to disclosing this information, of course, we needed to contact all of Ms. Vergata, Vergata's family members. And additionally, uh, at, a, at or around the same time, uh, we were beginning our, uh, our uh, grand jury confidential investigation into what has been known as the Gilgo Four, that is the murders of Maureen Brainerd Barnes, Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. Uh, so we decided we were not going to make any public comment at this time. However, since that, uh, the results of that investigation have become public and we have made the necessary notifications to Ms. Vergata's family, uh, we, can, we can make this uh, important announcement now. Um, I just want to thank, uh, in particular, Special Agent Lori, Gier uh, Lori Giordano from the FBI uh, in her work with the uh, familial DNA. She worked in conjunction with uh, our Suffolk County Crime Lab, uh, Don Dollar, Dollar of the Suffolk County Crime Lab, his team, in coordination with the Suffolk County Police Department's Homicide Unit. Uh, so I want to thank them, uh, for, uh, in particular, for all of, of their work. Of course, I want to thank our task force members, uh, Suffolk County Sheriff Errol Toulon, uh, uh, ASAC uh, Spencer, uh, uh, Spencer Horn from the FBI, I want to thank the uh, New York State Police, uh, Suffolk County Police Department, uh, Rodney Harrison, who couldn't make it here, I understand Chief Rowan is here in his, his place instead. Uh, but I want to thank them uh, for uh, not only their work on this case, but it, for all their work in the task force uh, going forward. Um, it's important to note that there are no charges uh, at this time. Uh, Ms. Vergata's disappearance was in 1996, which is 27 years ago. Uh, we are going to continue to work this particular case as we did the Gilgo 4 investigation. Um, we're going to have no comment on what, if any, suspects we developed at this time. Uh, this is a confidential investigation, so I'm not going to be taking any questions, but our investigation is continuing, and thank you all very much.
<laughs> uh, no questions. Uh, if you want to talk about you know something regarding the Gilgo Four, uh, I, I'm I'm happy to talk offline to you. But today, this is about this press conference is about uh, Ms. Vergata, and uh, you know that we've been able to identify her, and that we're continuing our investigation not only with regard to uh, the Gilgo Four, but all of the uh, the victims on on Gilgo. So thank you all very much. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.